Now, the top nuclear envoys of South Korea and Russia got together on Monday to talk North Korea and ways to rein in the regime's nuclear activities. The two saw eye to eye on the importance of deeper discussions on the matter, but they differed somewhat on how best to tackle the problem. Gon jang -ho with the details. It was the first meeting between the current South Korean and Russian nuclear envoys, and their meeting began in a cordial manner, with Seoul's Lee do -hun calling Russia a key partner in handling the North Korea nuclear situation. With the North Korea missile and nuclear issue becoming more serious, having this South Korea-Russia meeting, I believe, has been very timely. Moscow's Igor Mogulov agreed on the importance of the issue and said he looked forward to fruitful discussions. We are ready to cooperate with South Korea to peacefully resolve the region's collective issues. We look forward to our ministries keeping in close communication in the future. Seoul's foreign ministry said afterwards that the two envoys pledged to make efforts to restrain North Korea's nuclear activities and work together to bring Pyongyang to the negotiation table. However, the Russian envoy was perhaps more revealing earlier on Monday. At a regional conference in Seoul, the deputy foreign minister remarked that using sanctions and pressure to get North Korea back to negotiations will not work and that it's the ordinary North Korean people who suffer the most. This is in stark contrast to the stance taken by South Korea, the US and Japan, who have pushed for strong sanctions and pressure to draw the regime to talks. Even China has put more pressure in Pyongyang in recent months and have expressed they will fully implement UN sanctions, although Beijing's foreign minister Wang Yi did remark that tensions will not subside unless the key players make concessions. Wang added that the prolonged 70-day lull in North Korea's missile and nuclear activities could be a basis for reopening the six-party talks. In the meantime, Yi will travel to the U.S. on Tuesday to meet with his U.S. counterpart, Joseph Yun, for the third exchange in as many months. South Korea's vice unification minister, Chun Hae-sung, is also currently in the U.S. Chun is also meeting with Yun and other Washington officials to brief them on the current administration's North Korea policy, as well as to exchange ideas. Kwon Jang-ho, Arirang News.